And that's Lewis in motion out of the backfield. Lillard Davis. He just stretches it out. He goes down. John Atkins makes the tackle after a gain of about a yard. Anywhere. Franks. Pockets collapsing. Down he goes. Back at the 15-yard line. That is Lorenzo Carter. Rush. Georgia finally scores a sack. The punt will go to the 32. To Nicole Hardman. Trying to weave his way and does for a pretty nice return. And it's going to be great starting field position for Georgia. Blazevich, the tight end, over on a wing. He's going to be the lead blocker for Chubb. And this time, Nick gets it into Florida territory. One dog down here for Georgia in this situation. Third down at two. From throw. They're going to throw out in the flat to Swift. DeAndre Swift down the sideline. Bless his way past one tackler, and he's got it first and goal, Georgia. Right in stride, and that's the key again. When you're trying to throw these short passes, the running back or the receiver do not have a lot of time to adjust. He'll get the carry straight up the middle. He's in. Touchdown, Georgia. in the red zone now this year. Well, Nada gets a good block. At least he accepts a good block that time. And then you saw the difference this year. A healthy Nick Chubb keeps those legs going, those powerful weightlifting legs. Long before the punt. See if they can get something positive here. Piran. Georgia stretches it out and drops him at the line, if not for a loss. Field. Felipe Franks with four receivers. Trying to find just one. And he's having trouble locating one. Throws it out of bounds. Play action. Franks flushed out of the pocket again. Throws high. Incomplete. No. Intended for Swain. And it's picked off by yep. Georgia. Yep. Dominic Sanders. Action pass on third and long. And Georgia had no part of it. Getting inside was Ledbetter, number 13. And then the overthrow. Thank you very much. Those safeties have their eyes on the ball. For Georgia. Nick Chubb cuts outside. Nice move. First down. And Moore still on his feet. All the way to the 12. From fires left side. What a catch. Touchdown. Wims. Wait a second. Um, I got him perfectly covered, and that is a perfect throw. I mean, Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning type throw. High to the outside. Only one guy could get it, and he did. Malik Davis was in the backfield. Now goes out in a slot to the right as Franks comes back. <laughs> Brandon Powell got hammered by Reggie Carter as soon as he got his hands on the ball. Reggie Carter, number 45. Uh, looks like, obviously, a tunnel screen coming back inside. Nobody even comes close to blocking the linebacker. He lost yardage on his first carry. Not on this one. Sony Michelle, he's going to earn it all, I think, Gary. Sony Michelle trying to outrun Florida and does. Touchdown. You've been nicked against these guys. There have been no holes. You come back for one more year to show Florida what you got, and you give them what you got right there. What a run. Cat. And Tony will take it and go straight to that sideline. That, the problem with that is your quarterback's not going to throw a block for you out there. And that's why I wonder why not use Zyre out there. Play fake, wanted to throw quickly. He throws got late, it, but got it, it to got Davis. It. Boy, and he was being hunted down by Tyler Clark, number 52 that time when he... Look, no slant, nothing there, goes the other way. And Lorenzo Carter and Jacob. Shuttle pass inside to Goolsby, that's going nowhere. Great four-man rush for Georgia still. They make Franks have to come out of the pocket, and he lost the ball. Scooped up by Pirine. Pocket, and you don't want to face this guy. Roquan Smith is one of the best tacklers in this conference. Great speed. Beauty. 
One of three touchdowns in this quarter. Now it's Nick Chubb. Chubb takes it outside, drags the Gators with him for a first down. Talking about 111 on the ground, and Chubb looking for more. Nick found an opening, and Chubb going to take Chauncey Gardner for a ride. Finally into Georgia territory, play action. Franks wants it all. Long ball out there and broken up. Intended for Freddie Swain, and Malcolm Parrish was with him stride for stride. Second down, they can get a first down at the two. P. Ryan again. This time, David Marshall made first contact. They give it to P. Ryan. He's not going to get the first down. See, Barely what, got across the line of scrimmage. That's why I think you have to be careful on those second down hurry ups to replay. Play action. Franks pressured. Lobs it to the corner, incomplete. David, David Bellamy was coming around the corner. Christian Payne, the fullback, back there with him. And he's going to follow his fullback. And Nick still on his feet. Almost got a first down run. And he'll try to follow his fullback again, but Florida waiting for him, and he dives forward and got the first anyway. He'll try it here. And up the middle, broke a tackle. Sonny Michelle all the way out. Across the 30 to the 32. I think that's a place. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Kind of. <laughs> Franks in trouble in the backfield and trying to throw it away. And it's intercepted, but no, the whistle's whistle blew. blew. Yep, whistle's blew. Aaron Davis just trots in the end zone, but in the grasp, the whistle's blew, and it should have been the call. They are officially the road team, but it looks like they're playing on their home turf right now. 21 to nothing, the halftime score. For Allie's halftime interview with Coach Kirby Smart, go to Twitter at SEC on CBS. But right now, Zook and the guys in New York. Third quarter. Play action. Franks fires, tips, and almost intercepted by Reed in the secondary. Don oh, okay, that didn't look that bad to me. Draw play, P. Ryan. Here we go now. Now you're going to go on fourth down, or what do you do? Oh, well, I think you have to. I mean, there's a lot of time left. Going to kick a field goal here. And around the four-yard line. they got to get to the 20. Bootleg. Frank's running for his life. Throws in desperation. And off the fingertips of Goolsby. There's a flag down at the two-yard line, though. Fast interference. Offense, number 30. That's going to be the crime. Four. First down, Christian. First down. Lord on a run blitz. Fromm keeps it and gets a first down. Took a shot at the end, but he picked up about 12. He, he said he had a great quarterback. I mean, I get it. He's throwing simple passes. I get it. Anybody can throw a slant. I get it. But I mean, like I said, we're just playing football. He's, if he's one of the best quarterbacks, like I said, so be it. But he has to play Saturday. We're going to see what his best attribute is. And 11. Throwing to Beautiful. Swift on a crossing route, and Swift blasts his way into Florida territory at the 45. And he and, and let it go. You got a running back, and you've got a receiver to the one side. The running goes on the on the linebacker. You could either go to their wide receiver wide or one on one with your running back, and he goes to the right matchup on the linebacker. And Chauncey Gardner who earlier this week said, "Yeah, from anybody can throw a slant, but Chauncey." Wasn't thinking about DeAndre Swift on a 19-yard slant that he got leveled at the end of the play. Behind from at the 45. And Sony's got an opening, and when he gets an opening, he can do this. Touchdown, Georgia. That's where he's supposed to be. A little bit of a half block up front and a touchdown. You dial it up with an eight-man box. You bring your safety down, they run right at you, and they score. Lack of chips kick. Returnable. Oh. Lemons, big collision. Oh. Doesn't make the 20. I'll give Lemons a lot of credit, though. He hit that thing full speed. Play action. Franks double clutches, wants to throw short, and now can't find anybody. And he's going down again. Sacked by a whole pound of dogs before. Third and six. Here comes the rush again, and down 
one goes. Philippe by Franks again. Ball is out. Is it a touchdown? It is. J.R. Reed's got it. Coming off the right side over here. The play was actually made with the pre-alignment for the Georgia defense. They put two linebackers right over the center, and then they bailed out of there. They caught the blockers, and that allowed a free pass for J.R. Reed to get back there. The midfield. Give it to him again. This time runs into his own guy. Stumbled a little bit coming out of the blocks and stopped for no gain. Georgia delayed blitz. Franks in trouble again, and he's going to get hammered down again. And that delayed blitz was DeAndre Walker, and he's the guy that got him. See, he, he did not launch. I didn't. I didn't think. I thought it was right foot was on the ground when he delivered the block. George, you, number 21 of the receiving team, is targeted during the play. The penalty occurred on the 21-yard line. Will be enforced half the distance. Number 21, Florida, has been disqualified. There will be one untimed down during the play. You used to watch him. Florida State got hammered last night by Boston College, and Michael Pirine. His run and run out of bounds will officially end the third quarter for him if he does. Whoop, quick snap. He wasn't expecting it. Look out. Franks trying to gather himself in the end zone. Throws incomplete and takes a hit at the end of the play from Walter Grant. There right now behind Jake Fromm. And Brian gets the call heading to the edge. And he got a couple. Knocked out of bounds. It'll bring up third down. Third down at five. From throws. Brock Swift for the first down. Now how about holding on to that football by Swift on that play? And three snaps and it's Jacob Eason that's going to yes. take that snap. Holyfield. Elijah Holyfield. And he's on his way down the sideline. Touchdown. Afternoon in Jacksonville, Elijah Holyfield goes 44 yards for the score. I really don't know what to say here. Bring in Eason, bring in Holyfield, delay at the line of scrimmage, a missed tackle again by a safety right in the hole. It's actually a 39-yard touchdown, and uh, he went about six yards airborne at the end of it. Death threats. And then the administration of Florida says, you know, we're going to take care of our people. And basically went to Coach McElwain and said, you want to lap? Straight ahead running, and he will drive into the end zone. Just an intercepted by Georgia. Sony Michelle trying to outrun Florida. Don't forget, before we're done today, the play of the game, presented by Napa Auto Parts. Got some good ones to choose from. They're all Georgia plays. As you look at the beautiful sky over Jacksonville and over Everbank Field, 42 to nothing, Georgia. And they've got it at their own 12-yard line. Bull hunting especially. Elijah Holyfield, who had a big touchdown run the last time he touched it. And another I, I will good say run there. something for the... Yeah, when you go uh, Chubb in this game a year ago, nine carries for 20 yards. And Sony went three carries for two yards. And you can come back this year for 214 yards. I'd say mission accomplished. And on top of it, you have the number three team in the country. Well, it seems like when they start out, get to that rarefied seven or eight. No, they finish it off and get to the SEC championship, too. Three formation for Jacob Eason. He'll take a knee. Georgia is 8-0. They're 5-0 in the conference. They're in the driver's seat in the SEC East. And there's one coach where everything is going right. We haven't lost to Georgia in the last three years. Uh, our seniors have never lost to Georgia. So I think... Uh, that, that mentality that they bring, being that they've never lost to Georgia, definitely brings a lot of confidence to us just knowing that Georgia isn't a team that we lose to. 
So I think that's the message in the locker room right now that, you know, they might be the number three team in the country, but they, they can't beat Florida. I've been fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. All my brothers got that gas and they always be smoking like a rock star. Fucking with me, call up on the Uzi and show up, man, them the shot toss. When my homies pull up on your block, they make that thing go gratatata.